How many times do I have to tell you to take out the trash on Thursdays? And when you bring home eggs, make sure they have omega threes in them. Can't you do anything right? Hi, I'm Jaya, an award-winning sexologist, author and creator of Ignite Your Passion, and I'm a Calexotics expert sexpert. In this Bedroom Insider series, we're going to take a look at seven barriers that are preventing you from having hot, juicy, satisfying, and amazing sex. I've been talking about the seven barriers to hot sex. Be sure to check out barriers one, two, and three so that you don't miss something that might be holding you back from the amazing sex life you desire. I opened this video describing barrier number four. This is a big one. The way we communicate outside the bedroom affects our desire for sex. That was an example of emasculating communication. See, we've lost the ability to communicate for connection and to do it effectively. So what is effective communication? Well, you're able to express yourself without being judged, shamed, or meeting defensiveness. The words you say, your, your vocal tone, and your body language are all in alignment. You're able to be vulnerable and feel safe in the discomfort of sharing in a free of blame and shame space that has rich self-responsibility and curiosity. Instead of communication for connection, we have communication breakdown. You criticize and blame and are in denial and hiding. You don't say anything for fear of your partner getting their feelings hurt or getting defensive. You feel you're the one being criticized and you're in defense. Or you say the right words, but something isn't lining up energetically. You have a hard time talking about sex due to shame, older-rooted beliefs, guilt, and embarrassment. So what do we do? Learning to communicate is a practice. We need to be clear on what we want. Ask yourself what is really true and take responsibility. Remember that your body speaks louder than the words you use. So you need to learn how to stay in your power in your body. For example, if someone is coming to you yelling about the eggs, you don't defeat in your body. Uh, you stay in your power and actually breathe it in. Allow that emotion to wash over you so you can feel and hear your partner. Vulnerability is the key to opening. I'm going to cover more in the next three barriers and some solutions to help you overcome those. So be sure to check out our other videos at clubcalexotics.com and come visit me at my site, sexisyou.com. Until next time, fill your life with pleasure.